Good morning, students. Welcome back to English class. Last class that we have discussed tenses and tense that we have seen uh, present tense, past tense, all four categories that we have seen. Now let us see future tense. When we have to use future tense, what is future tense? Future tense nothing but it is a tense which is used to express the action which is going to happen in future. The action will be happened later. At the time that you are supposed to use future tense. This future tense will have four categories as that of present as well as past. Simple future, future continuous, future perfect and future perfect continuous tense. Now let us see what is simple future, when we have to use and what is the structure that we are supposed to follow while we are making simple future tense. This simple future tense, it is used to express the action which is going to happen future in future and also we need to keep in our mind that the same action what you are going to do that the action must be done. That means you are talking about the action surely going to happen in future. That, that at that time you are supposed to use this future tense. Then what is the structure for simple future? I will give you an example for simple future. I shall go to market. The shall and will it is used in the future tense. So you might be wondering why we have to use a shall or will. We have written a to shall as well as will. Where we have to use exactly these two forms. No need to worry because this will and shall can be used in all subject. In those days, this shall is used even the subject for you, I, we, they also. But nowadays, we are concentrating this shall only for the first person, I and we. Nothing is wrong if you are right, you shall or he shall. Then structure for simple future positive tense. Subject shall will be one that is base form for example go it is the base form went is the past form gone is the past participle that is ppt so here you are going to use only v1 that is base form you can observe here i the subject i used shall is used verb one go it is used so likewise you are supposed to use this simple future then what how to make the same sentence into negative it's also very important See here. here, usually I have been telling you in the class that you are supposed to follow and add not immediately after the auxiliary is written. For example, I am not, he is not, they are not, I have not, I was not, um, they were not. So immediately after the auxiliary is that you are supposed to use not. The same way here also we are going to use not immediately after shall or will. For example, I shall not or will not be one object. In the, it is the structure for negative simple future. Example, I have given the same sentence just I made negative. I shall not go to market. See, I it is used, shall not it is used, then go, go then rest of things I have used. The same thing that you have to follow. For example, few more examples. I shall not try my homework. I shall not disturb the class. We will not write the homework. We will not play cricket, uh, etc. That you can use. Then in the interrogative sentence, how to make this simple future to interrogative? Interrogative means nothing but questioning. I have told you that first in the same sentence, how you have been following other tenses. Same thing that you can apply. First, you are supposed to use shall or will. That is actually is. For example, um, simple phrase, present if you take. First, you are using do, then subject, then be one, then object, then question mark. For example, do I write my homework? Here also, shall instead of do, just you can use the shall or will. Shall I write my homework? Will I write my homework? Will they play cricket? Like that, you can use to make negative sentence. The same thing I have written. Shall I go? Shall I use will? Then subject I used here. Then go. Then keep in your mind, you are supposed to use this question mark at the end since it is a questioning sentence and also one more thing that you are supposed to follow here we use this be going to to express a prediction this can be applicable only in simple future for example the test next week is going to be really hard that means we are going to express the prediction the action which is going to happen for example if you find uh, the sky is full of uh, cloud then you may say that Today evening is going to be 
very very we are going to you know the next today evening is going to be having rain that means the action is going to happen in future so at the time that you can use this be going to this be going to is the indication for simple future it can be a prediction definitely it is going to happen like that we can use so let us sum up this uh, simple future keep in your mind what is the structure for positive and what is the structure for negative and how to make interrogative and where we are supposed to use be going to these things just you can keep in your mind this shall and will you can uh, nowadays we are using only for the first person either singular or plural for example i shall we shall this is what you are supposed to keep in your mind if you have any doubts just you can ask me and i am ready to clarify your doubts now just uh, uh, keep those things in your mind how to make simple future positive negative and interrogative it will be very useful for you to uh, communicate with one another i hope that guys you understood what i said now uh, you can um, start to write few examples for simple future thank you all have a good day